is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Alright, we've got a little bit of a dilemma here. The other day I went out and I got myself a fish burger. Never ever do I eat fish like this. I always catch my own fish. I got a fish burger the other day and I'm telling you right now, it tastes like eating dog shit. It was the worst thing I've ever eaten and ever since I ate that burger, I've been on a mission to make my own fish burger. So in this episode, this is what we're doing. I'm going to make one of the most badass fish burgers. But before we make a fish burger, we're going to go out there, we're going to catch the fish. Well, I've already caught the fish. It's sitting in the car right now. Beautiful. It is one of the best eating fish in the ocean. And we are going to turn that fish into the best fish burger you have ever seen. Strap yourselves in. This is going to make you drool. Put your bibs on, put your aprons on. I'm bloody starving. This is going to be good. We're using that little fire down there to cook one of the best fish burgers you'll ever see. Let's go! Well, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to pump this fire up. We've got to get a good fire going because we're going to be cooking this fish on this fire right here. So, chuck a little bit of wood on here. Found someone else's firewood. We're going to make the most of that. This little bit of wood here, that should just about be enough to cook the fish that we want to do. We've got some of the best bloody views going on right now. Have a go at that. Doesn't come much better than this, I tell you what. This is the kitchen for the day. We're going to make some badass fish burgers. I am so bloody excited to cook up this feed, but before we do anything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen this incredibly bloody good little knife with this knife sharpener here. What we're going to do, we're going to slap the fish on this ironing board. Ironing boards are one of the best, most incredibly little universal things in the world. Not only are they good for ironing clothes, they're incredible for cleaning fish on, cooking on when you're camping like this. And when you're done, you just pop the legs up and it's this tiny little table which basically slides anywhere in, in, in on your car. So, ironing bar boards are a great investment. This thing was found on the side of the road about five years ago and um, she's still going strong. She's a rust bucket, but she's going strong. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to rip that fridge out of the fridge. We're going to fill it up, get the beautiful, one of the most incredible tasting fish in the world. We're going to get that white flesh off the fish, chuck it down there on the fire and then make this kick-ass burger. But before I do any of that, I'll roll on the fishing footage from yesterday. What I did was punched out on a very quick little afternoon mission. I was on a solo mission just to get, all I wanted was one fish. We went to a lot of work to get this fish, but um, yesterday was insane. A very, very bloody fun day. I'll roll that footage on now. We'll come back here, we'll rip the fillets off this fish, and we're going to cook one hell of a burger. Ow! All right, we've got something very good in this fridge down here. It wouldn't be a fishing mission without a couple of bloody party pies in the little pie warmer. So that's what we're doing right now. We're going to load this thing up with party pies. Look at this. It definitely wouldn't be a fishing mission without a couple of party pies in the pie warmer. This is good luck. Every time I bloody put party pies in here, we get a couple of slobs on the deck. So we'll fill this up with party pies. 12 party pies, mate. How good is this? Good luck food. Got a couple of beers in the ingle, but they're not allowed to get cracked open unless we get a big slob on the deck. So that is 12 party pies in the pie warmer. Let's go and see if we can find a little bit of ground and pull up a big juicy slob. All right, the jig is heading down to the bottom right now. We've got 12 pies in the pie warmer. All we need is one fish for a fish burger and we are going to be sorted. What I could see on the sounder was there's one fish that's a little bit higher than the rest and it's a big, big slob. So generally what that means is that fish that sit high, they're active, they're feeding. So hopefully we can entice this fish to come up to this jig and we're going to get whopped. That's the plan anyway. Let's see if we can pull it out. It's very close. Alright, that's bottom. Let's see if we can... Oh, shit! Look at that! I literally just launched that jig right in front of that fish's head. That is what it's all about right there. It's not the big fish you can see on the sounder, but we've got a fish on the deck. Or coming up on the deck. That is bloody beautiful. Well, it's safe to say that fish burgers are sorted. That there is called a black ass, and they are a very, very nice eating fish. You can see why it's called a black ass, because it's got a black ass. Look at this little black ass there. These are a very, very good eating fish. As soon as that jig hit the bottom, 
it just got destroyed but that's not the fish that i saw on the sounder i saw a bigger fish on the sounder i'll try to pull him up but that's all we need one fish man that is the reason i come here that is going to be some incredibly good fish burgers right there i'm going to put this guy to sleep chuck him straight on ice and then um let's see if we can see what that big fish was just we just drifted off the mark so i'll come back on it That's fish on, on the drop. Literally that thing was just dropping down. <laughs> just hit the bottom and then that, this is the best thing about jigs, man. On the free fall, they always get hammered on the free fall. What do we got here? Oi. Not a monster again. It's not the fish I'm seeing on the sounder, but nonetheless, good fish. Are you kidding me? Have a go at this thing. This is called a ball chin groper on a 100 gram jig. You don't get these on jigs every day of the week, but that is a beautiful, beautiful ball chin groper. One of the best tasting fish in the sea. I said black ass, black ass a good tasting. This thing is a good tasting fish. One of the best. Um, he's gonna have to go on ice. He's gonna have to be kept. He is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the, look at the teeth on him. Look at that jig, FDYS jig hanging out his gob, the pink 100 gram. Wow, man, what a beautiful fish. That, that, that jig literally, I just let that sink and I just popped it once and it just flooded back down and on, on the flutter, this thing just come in and destroyed it. So we're on a good little spot here. We're getting a nice mixed bag of fish. Let's drop down again for a little bit of fun, but we don't need any more fish. That there is, um, that's beautiful, man. He is a cracker fish. Bolching groper on a jig. Cannot go wrong with that, mate. That is a bloody good tasting fish again. All right, jig's on the bottom. Let's see what we pull up this time. Good bit of ground. Pretty excited for those bloody party pies. That'd be boiling hot right now. Come on, you big dog. You big slob. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Come on, eat it. Oh, oh, is that a fish? Oh, wow. Did you see that on the drop again? That's not a bad fish, man. This could be a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, this is a good fish. This is a really, really good fish. No, I'm not even joking. This spot is fire. Hold on, I've got to get the boat out. Oh, this is a good fish. I've got to get the boat out of reverse. Ah! All right, here we go. It's game time, baby. Oh, this is not a bad fish at all. Woo! What are you? Again, that jig was just fluttering down, small little pops with it, and this thing just come in and just went, how you going? All right, it's beer and party pies after this. Come on. What is this thing? Big slob weight. We've got the biggest, dirtiest fish of all time right now. Well, this thing's a little bit bloody bigger. Have a look at this. That is a big, dirty cod. He's engulfed that little 100 gram pink FDYS jig right there. Look at that thing. That This spot is incredible. It holds some seriously good fish. That is a big, juicy cod right there. Look at that thing, man. I'm gonna let him go, get him straight back. He'll, he'll go back real fresh. Look at that, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the colors in him. Mate, that's what it's all about. Let's get him back in the water. That thing didn't even put up much of a fight, to be honest, considering how big it is. She's a slob. Hey. 
eat it? <laughs> Are you kidding? This place is absolutely unbelievable. I just got that massive cod. We've got a black ass, we've got a bulging groper. So it's a bulging groper, black ass, big dirty cod. And I'm like, I'm done. I don't need to catch any more fish. We've got our fish burger secured, zipped up and put away. I'm like, I'm just gonna have one more drop with a jig just to see what else is down there. Look at this thing, man. We just got a big flathead on a jig. What is going on right now? Look at this thing. That is another really, really good eating fish. I'm gonna put this one back, but that's a big dirty flathead on a jig in the same spot. This place is fire. I think I've just found that little honey hole. All right, let's put this flathead back. These are beautiful eating, but I don't really need it, so. Boom! Off you go, big dog. What a place, man. This, this is literally like, every single drop is a different fish. You know what time it is, man. You know what time it is. They are hot, boy. If you guess party pies and beers, you would be correct. That's what we're doing right now. Look at these little, man, these things are pretty bloody warm. Have a go at that little celebra celebratory bit of food. Oh, oh. oh, man. Cheers, doggies. How good is this? Ah. Oh, that is just, what a way to end a quick little session. It's four o'clock right now. We've been out here for like two hours. We've got enough food to, let it, to last us a little while. I'm only keeping two fish. I'm gonna punch in. I'm gonna eat these party pies. Ooh! Hot, bruh. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Much love. I'm gonna eat these party pies, drink this beer. Probably even fish again, I don't know. Ow! Wow, look at this. This is gotta be up there with some of the whitest, get off, some of the whitest, most incredible meat you can ever get. Have a look at the color of that meat. That is, that is the whitest meat you'll ever find on a fish. Bulging groper, blue bone, all those kinds of species of fish. Oh, it is just the most incredible colored meat. Have a look at that. It really is some of the most incredible meat. These fish burgers are going to be off their heads. That's one side of the fish done. One fillet is more than enough, man. We're going to make some killer burgers right now. So that was a super fun day's fishing. We've got a couple of, man, that little spot that I found was the mixed bag mecca. Like just about every jig, jig we dropped down, we've got a different species of fish. Those people who were lucky enough to get their hands on a set of those FDYS jigs, happy fishing doggies. You guys are going to have super fun with them. They, they absolutely bloody kill it. Like yesterday was super fun. And now we are eating this beautiful, incredible little bulging groper. Look at this thing. They are such a bloody beautiful fish. This is what we're going to turn into a burger. Have a look at the teeth on that thing. <laughs> All right, stage two, we're going to make this incredibly good bloody batter. We're going to smash it down there in the fire and we're just going to turn a shitty burger that I had the other day. We're going to, we're going to top that burger by, by a million times. Watch this. Righto, the ingredients that we're going to need right now. A little bit of bacon powder, cayenne pepper, natural salt and pepper, a little bit of plain flour, one beer. Look at this, low carb, man. Field day is getting a little bit chubby. Also, we've got those beautiful fish. So here's that fish fillet's all cut up into pieces. Look at that. I mean, honestly, look at, the, look at that. That is the best sort of fish you'll ever get right there. Very white meat, beautiful flies are loving it. We're going to love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix all this up into an incredible little bloody mixture. We're going to bang it down here on this miserable looking fire. Oh, that's not looking too good, is it? Let's bang a couple more of these on there. We don't want it. We don't need a bloody massive fire. We only, we only need to boil a little bit of oil. That'll take off. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Look at this. How's the views? This is going to be that good, man. Two bowls, no plates. I'm only using what I got in the car. All right, now this is sort of the fun part. Catching the fish is the fun part, but also making, just making the batter, man. There ain't no rules out here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna bust in a little bit of flour. Doesn't really matter how much, as long as it's enough to cover the fish. A Little bit of baking powder. 
I don't really know how much either. We're just going to dust that in there, whack that over there. Now this stuff here, a little bit of cayenne pepper or however you say that, it just gives that fish fillet when you bite into it, this beautiful like spicy little bit of crunch. So we'll dust a little bit of that in there. Hold up, hold up. Here we go. All right, we'll smoke a little bit of that in there. I love spicy food, so I'm not going to be scared with that stuff. Salt and pepper. I'm going to bust that in there as well. And then last but not least, a little bit of low carb chubby field day beer. Just going to whack a little bit of that in there. Not too much because you want this to be a perfect consistency. But so far, look at this. So far, this is looking good. Everything's good. Sun's out. There's no wind. Fire's on the cook. We've got some of the most incredible fish sitting down here. Everything is looking real good. All right, what I've done here is I've just salt and peppered all of that fish up, both sides, salt and pepper. Now, grab that fish. We're just going to chuck it in a bowl of dry flour. So we're just going to dust that fish each little piece of fish in dry flour. Once we do that, we're just gonna bang them back on this chopping board. And then we're gonna bring that, boil, that oil to the boil. And this is probably the reason that field day's getting chubby. We're gonna have to um, shallow, I don't wanna deep fry it, but I do wanna shallow fry it. So I'm just gonna give this bloody thing a little bit of oil, fair bit of oil actually. Come on, we're doing fish and chips. There we go, that'll do. All right, all we do now is wait for this water, I mean, wait for this water to boil. All we do now is wait for this oil to get really, really, really bloody hot. Then we're going to dip our fish into that beautiful batter we made, chuck it into that boiling oil, and oh my goodness, that is the first stage of this fish burger. It's going to be pretty bloody good, I reckon. If you, if you guys are like an OG follower of the channel and you're looking at this footage and it looks a little bit different than normal, well, I have had a very, very bad run with GoPros lately. I lost one GoPro last month. Then I nearly lost the GoPro catching that tuna, which you guys would have seen. And then about two or three days ago, I was on a little mission in the tinny with a mate. And he come next to me in his tinny and he was like, chuck me the camera. So I've just like piffed him the camera. And as it's done that, it's hit his fingertip and it's just gone straight off into the, into the water. No floating device, nothing. We dove on it for like 40 minutes, could not find the GoPro for the life of me. So that's another GoPro gone. And um, now I've just got to use this camera until I sort out some other cameras. So. That's, if this footage, I don't even know what this footage is going to look like, man. This camera's weird. I don't know. I've never used this camera before. So, there you go. There's a little bit of a story behind the um, camera that's getting used right now. But, um, this oil's looking pretty good. I don't know how hot it is right now. Just drop a little fish tail in there. Not yet. Yeah, it's going to take a while, eh? Look at these waves, man. This little wave out here is absolutely pumping right now. There's no one out, and it's like, one, what, one to one and a half foot, perfect little twin fin waves. Look at that left. It's actually pumping. My goodness. I'm going straight out there after this video is over. Got my board in the car. This bloody oil is so hot right now. So what I'm doing is I'm just dipping that fish straight into that batter that we made. Now I'm just gonna dump it straight in. Oh, listen to that. Look at that thing go, man. Try to get him in all at the same time. And also what I've done is I've cut the fish into even pieces so it sort of cooks evenly. Oh wow, this is gonna be that good. Look at that. Get off. Move over, we've got one more coming in. Oh man. Get in there, big dog. Yes, dude. Oh, these is gonna be that good. Really, really good. Cheeky little fish update. Look at this. Look at the color of it. It's actually like real, that is just so perfectly cooked that. Look at it, man. That's real fish and chips right there, boy. Got about another minute and it's coming off. All right, the time has come to start ripping together this bun and I am bloody excited. What I got going on down on the pan there, I drained that oil out. We've got two buns getting very hot and toasty on that hot pan down there. Up here we have some of the most, look at, the, look at that fish bro. That is cooked to perfection. The inside just, mate, it's absolutely bloody die for. What I'm gonna, this, one of these buns will be done. 
Oh, look at that. A little bit of a toasty bun. So what we're gonna do is first, first things first, we've got a little bit of extra sharp old cheese. So we're gonna bang one layer of cheese on. We're gonna get one big chunk of fish. So right now it is looking like this. We've got a layer of fish, we've got a layer of cheese. QP mayonnaise, that's going on now. Bop. Don't be scared with that. Right, we're gonna go another layer of fish. I'm gonna go this way with that one. One more thing of cheese, bang that on. Look, it wouldn't be a fish burger with a little bit of tomato. So we're gonna smash our tomato on here. One, two, three, that'll do ya. A little bit of green stuff on top. Bang, bang. Then we're gonna fill the lid of the burger with Kewpie sauce again, just like that. That's gonna go on top. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna make that guy in the restaurant look like an idiot. Look at this thing. That's what you call a man burger, all right? If you're watching this video, buddy, this is how you cook a burger. This is a man burger. I can't wait to wrap my big gob around this. Oh, just look at that, bruh. <laughs> That's what it's all about. This is a pre-surf feed. I'm going out there having a little bit of fun. All right, now, if you own a restaurant or you work in a restaurant, you should be proud of the food that you present to people on a plate. If I was to be presented this burger, I would have been more than happy, but instead, I got cat food or dog food between two pieces of bread and look, field day just outcooked you, mate, so watch your back. Ha, <laughs> here we go, doggies. It's all just a little bit of fun, you guys know that. Here we go, here's that burger. Let's dig into this thing. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Probably up there with one of the best things we've cooked on the channel yet. That's real good. This burger is that good. I'll tell you right now, two of these burgers, oh my God, that's gonna block me up. But they are phenomenal, very, very good. If you guys get the chance, get out there, catch yourself a fresh fish, do this batter that I just showed you, just put it in a bread roll, a bit of cheese, Oh, mate, I'll tell you right now, it's better than anything you'll ever buy. Like, especially with the scenery like this in the background. Look, there's not a person on this beach right now. They've got pumping, pumping little waves out the back. Fish burgers on the beach. Does it get any better than that? I don't bloody think so. I'm gonna neck this burger. I'm gonna try to eat one. I'm gonna try to eat two burgers. I'm jumping in a wetsuit. I'm going out there, having a little bit of fun before that sun sets. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna get your merch, hey, look. Much love! If you guys want to get your merch, make sure you hit fielddayshop.com or just tap on the little logo that comes up in about two seconds. I'll see you in the next video. Much love, doggies. How? I'm going surfing! <laughs>